Wastewater, a term often used in discussions about environmental and public health, refers to the water that becomes polluted after being utilized for various domestic, industrial, and commercial activities. It contains a mix of impurities, contaminants, and microorganisms, making it unsuitable for direct use or release into the environment. In the realm of wastewater management and engineering, we encounter three crucial terms. Sullage, sewage, and sewers. 1. Sullage. Sullage is also known as gray water, represents the wastewater produced within a building or household. It originates from day-to-day -day activities, such as washing dishes, laundry, taking showers, and using wash basins. Unlike black water, which comes from toilets and contains human waste, sullage is relatively less contaminated but still requires appropriate treatment before reuse or disposal. Common sources of sullage include kitchen sinks, bathtubs, showers, and laundry drains. Sullage is an important aspect of wastewater management as it constitutes a significant portion of the overall wastewater generated in communities. In certain sustainable practices, treated sullage can be reused for non-potable purposes like irrigation, flushing toilets, or even for industrial processes. Sewage is the collective term for all the liquid waste generated by residential, commercial, and industrial establishments in a community or urban area. It includes both black water, which comes from toilets and contains human waste, and gray water, produced from activities like washing dishes, laundry, and showers. The collection and treatment of sewage are vital for safeguarding public health and preserving the environment. Improper disposal or lack of treatment can lead to the contamination of water bodies, soil, and the spread of waterborne diseases. This is why efficient sewage treatment systems are essential to remove harmful substances before the treated water is discharged back into the environment or reused safely. 3. Sewers Sewers play a critical role in managing wastewater effectively. They are the underground pipelines and networks that transport sewage from its source to a centralized treatment facility or a point of discharge, such as a nearby river or the ocean. Sewers are designed to ensure the smooth flow of wastewater while preventing leakages or overflows that could contaminate the surroundings. There are two main types of sewers, sanitary sewers and storm sewers. Sanitary sewers carry domestic and industrial wastewater to treatment plants, while storm sewers manage rainwater runoff and prevent flooding during heavy rainfall. In some cases, both types of sewers may share the same network, creating a combined sewer system. Understanding the concepts of wastewater, sillage, sewage, and sewers is vital in the field of wastewater engineering and environmental protection. Proper treatment and management of wastewater are essential to protect public health, preserve natural ecosystems, and ensure a sustainable water supply. If you like this video, please share and subscribe for more valuable content on civil engineering and construction. Our channel benefits civil engineering students, graduates, and construction professionals. Thank you for your support.